Okay, so now I want to head back into Omega. Let's actually talk to Daniel quick. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought I thought I knew him. See, he didn't like that he was I can't believe Morden said all those things. Yeah. I thought I thought I knew him. He didn't like that he said he would kill them and just be like cold hearted. But uh what I need to do is I need to talk to Arya. Oh, I guess we don't have a choice. Okay, so let's leave. A couple of things. Recruited Dr. Morden for the team. Examination of Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solis's expertise. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Arya if necessary. Good to know. We've got the hand cannon, assault rifle damage, metagel capacity, some credits, a lot, and some element zero, whatever that is. Oh, and then palladium, platinum, iridium. Cool. So, we are still going to head back to Omega, and we're going to go into the um, wards area and try to find some couplings for the engineers. And then we're also going to talk to Arya because we found that little dossier at one point that we're going to return to her. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well connected espionage experts had top level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti alien reputation listed as problematic. I wonder how he got those scars on his face. It's like an X. It's kind of weird. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Correct. The entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the Collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There's we a have one. There's a lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated <laughs> emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? <laughs> I love this guy. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. I really like him. I think we're going to be good friends. Okay, research terminal in the lab. For all of these different things. We should probably just touch base with people. Where is this taking us? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, let's see how he's doing. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. <laughs> Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Okay. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Is the lab working well for Quite you? Quite satisfactory. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Okay, so research new upgrades to dramatically improve power of your squad members, weapons, and ship. Discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can study it. And they may discover a research project to further improve assault rifles. Whether you purchase a research project, you must pay the... Or when you purchase a research project, you must pay the specified amount of rare resources. You then gain the upgrade described in the research project, and the upgrade moves to the upgrade section of the research terminal. Okay. Well, let's see what kind of weapons we can upgrade. 
Assault rifle damage. So squad bonus, 10% assault rifle damage. Upgrades assault rifles, battle rifles, and machine guns. This upgrade strengthens a weapon's mass effect field generated increase. Okay. So assault rifles, this is using iridium. We have 9,000. Let's check what else we have before we commit. Medigel is using platinum. Element zero for omni tool upgrades. And then prototypes. Heavy weapon ammo, so we get extra capacity. That could be good. That also uses iridium. Uh, Morden gets 20% tech damage. That's cool. And this needs one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade. Okay. So if we hit up the heavy weapon ammo, then. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas, ideas on other ways? Yes. To Expensive. Then we can hit up the missile launcher. Check that out. Oh, look at this. What? Okay. Yes. I. Ah, uh, yes, please. Giant gun. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas, ideas. on other ways? Yes. To Expensive. And then let's see the Omni tool. We could probably use. Maybe we should check. This is using element zero. We might as well take that. It impacts the whole squad. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ideas, ways? To yes, expensive. And then I think we'll take the medigel capacity. Even though we don't use it a Shepard, whole lot right how now. How can I help? Any ideas on other ways? Ideas, to yes, to expensive. Now we have three in here, but none of them are usable. One more tech damage upgrade. One more medigel upgrade. Unity heals your squad to full health, but you can see they're getting quite expensive. Let's do the Morden Omni tool then. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since working with <laughs> Special Tasks Group. Kind of figured you guys would be buddies. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. <laughs> nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. That is super cool. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Kirihi. Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility yep. in Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. He was a good guy. Cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. <laughs> Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Not taken. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Alright, cool. Now let's check out the research. Oh. Oh, this is the same. Okay, so we don't have to talk to him. Oh wait, we have research terminal and we have upgrades. Oh, this just shows us current status, I think. Yep. And then the terminal, we can do the same thing as talking to Morden. I'm going to talk to uh, Jacob again, see how he's feeling. Commander, can I help you with something? How are we doing, Jacob? 
What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. Yes, please. Okay, so ship enhancements. Heavy ship armor. The Asari made Solaris armor upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructures will help hold the ship together if hit by a powerful blast. Okay. I guess that's probably important. And everything else is the same then. Let me know when you want that, Commander. I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. <laughs> like I said, it was where I met Miranda and got scouted by Cerberus. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved the Citadel from a Batarian bioweapon. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. I like this guy. He's such a straight shooter. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. They also need discipline. As long as everyone is inspired to do their jobs the way I ask, we'll get along fine. That works to a point. Trouble is, it's never obvious until it's too late. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. You know what I like about him is he's not afraid to just, like, tell you exactly what's on his mind. Even though it might not be what you want to hear. So I kind of, I dig that. Kel Kel. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Um, none of these are particularly... <laughs> I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Just saying. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay, we know all of this. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Great, that'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright, let's see here. Take care of Garrus from Nala Butler. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back, but whatever happened there wasn't Garrus's fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can help, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thank you, Nala Butler. Okay. Chief Medical Chakwas. Medical Officer. I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. 
Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing, regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment to your research terminal in the tech lab. Okay. Med bay upgrade. The hell? Let's go and check this out. Uh, it must be a ship enhancement. Yeah. Oh my god. Using this unit immediately and completely heal your scars. <laughs> I don't know if that's totally that important to spend that much or to spend that many resources on. Alright, let's head to the crew's quarters. There's these guys in here that I'm interested in, but I can never talk to them. Another colony's gone missing. Ferris Fields, I heard. That's not far from New Canton. Did your family get back to Earth? Not yet. My mother-in-law's given us grief. Operative Lawson assures me the transport team will physically drag them away if need be. Hmm. I wish I could help. Maybe I'll get the opportunity to help them later? But for now, we've got other things to worry about. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Uh-oh. Okay, let's go talk to Garrus. See how he's holding up. Shepard. Need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, more ship enhancements. A Thanix cannon. The Turian designed Thanix magnetic hydromanic hydronamic cannon is now installed in the Normandy. Well, it's not yet. Is it? This cannon is powerful enough to destroy collector ship. So we're going to need all these upgrades at some point, I'm Let sure. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some okay. calibrations. Okay. Talk to you later, Garrus. Enjoy. I'll Have fun with your uh, calibrations. How can I help you, Commander? Okay. He needs the food I won't still. Take any more of your time. Back to work. I know that. Commander. What can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Now, what is she suggesting? Advanced mineral scanner. Okay. Uh, this will greatly speed up the planet scanning process. Alright. Uh, but we are... We need ten times the amount of current iridium. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Ouch, burn. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. Where does Zaid hang out? Uh, he's not in crew quarters. Would he be down in engineering? I guess it probably just said right there who was down here. Yep, it does. Okay, super cool. That really helps. Whereabouts, though? Starboard cargo, perhaps? Yep. Oh, I can spy on people. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jessie. 
<laughs> That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Maybe we can fix it. Well, oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. I can compact garbage. I don't know why. All right. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. So as much of a hard ass as he is, I was down and up when I found that gun. He's pretty sentimental. She was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. Damn good rifle. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. But Jesse wanted that Turian dead, so two shots, and he died right there. Anything else? I killed my way across yep. the terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. <laughs> I don't take Jessie into battle anymore. Had to retire her about five years ago. I was hunting down this Batarian slaver. Forgot his name. Not important. Carved my way through a hundred Batarian mooks. I don't remember ejecting a clip once. Jesse just kept firing, reached the slaver, and he got in my face, so I went to blow him away, and nothing. The old bitch had finally jammed, <laughs> so I smashed his face in with the butt of the gun and called <laughs> in the job. After that, Jesse couldn't be fixed. Nothing anyone could do. Like she'd finally had enough blood and was ready to rest. Been resting ever since. I bet you Morton could fix it. Seems like that guy could fix anything. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Yeah. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right. Well, it's good to have you here, I guess. I don't know what to make of you just yet, but... Let's head up to the cabin. Uh, I'm going to adjust the armor just a little bit once again. What do we all have? We have the Cerberus, the Collector, and the Blood Dragon. Let's go here. Let's go with uh, the helmet that at least gives us a little bit of ways to talk. The material doesn't seem to make a huge difference. The tint sure does. I kind of want something like dark. Like almost black. There we go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. We can match that with like a dark red. That'll work.
there. Okay, sweet. Looks badass. So now I think it's time that we head to Omega for the last time. Well, who knows? Um, but we need to talk to Arya. And we also need to find the information, or the couplings, sorry, for the engineers. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. Oh, that's They're him. That's Hadley. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Okay, anything new from Joker? Commander. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. <laughs> uh, we need it here. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. <laughs> So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Jeez. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Okay, so That's she's told us now. all this. Logging you out, Shepard. All right. Now, where are these controls? Here we go. Now is definitely time that we head back to Omega. Talk to Arya, get the coupling, see if there's anything else we can buy. And then uh, continue to make dreams come true.